What's up, YouTube? This is a battery charger that I made um, just a little while ago. Does I have this type of flashlight? Um, even though it says SWAT, the names change all the time on these flashlights. So don't. I see these on TV for a lot of money, and these. Uh, these type of flashlights sell them for a lot of money. You get them real cheap on eBay. It's just the name, the name changes on these flashlights. This could be called uh, a totally different flashlight. It depends on the, on the label, but they're all the same. It doesn't have to say SWAT. It could say anything on there. It's still the same flashlight. So check it out on eBay. You know, try to get one uh, cheaper. Just because it has the SWAT name doesn't mean it's more expensive. Okay. Uh, this is a ultra fire, ultra fire, a true ultra fire, and they're also changing the names because people are advertising these on TV and they want to make more money, so they'll call this a SWAT flashlight. Okay. So be aware of the names to save some money. And basically, I have a homemade charger. Uh, this is a 3.7 and I know there's a, another higher battery but it doesn't matter it's the same thing all right going back to this light this one has a charging port right and had the plug tells me when it's charged uh, so I cut the end because it no longer functioned anymore so I cut the end off. I got the green wire and the red wire exposed. And I got these two L brackets. These small L brackets screwed in. I put this one in first. This bracket in first. Put the battery up against that. Put this L bracket up against that battery and screwed it down. Then I got my drill mill. My Dremel. And grind it down a little bit here so I could get a solder. The same went over here. Now, instead of doing all that, if you have a couple of these lying around, you just put that in the screw right there. You want to have a copper wire coming out a little bit so you can get a solder on it and solder your wires from the plug on it. So, like I said, I just made this real quick. Found a piece of wood, boom, done. It's now charging. That is actually orange, so it goes from red, orange to green, and it's slightly turning green now, which means this battery is just about charged. I have a meter on here, and it's reading about 4.2 volts. Now, if you don't have uh, a plug like this, which tells you when it's charged, you can use a plug like this. Where whatever plug, you could plug in a USB port to. And basically, charge on my phone, but basically you would cut this off. And you would find your positive and your negative wire. And you do the same here. You have your ground, and you have your positive, your negative wire, and you can make your own charger. It's very simple, guys. The only thing with this, it doesn't have an indication light. So you could use the meter, right? 4.2, 4.4, your battery should be charged. And, and how to find that out, because right now you're on charging stage, right? And you don't know. All you do is unplug this, and the, the meter will read what the battery has in it. Now you can use a digital meter. You don't have to use this type of meter to be more accurate.
So I just wanted to share this with everybody because I know they're selling the chargers and they're a little bit pricey, you know, and they break. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Chinese don't know how to build stuff. It breaks. It was made so cheaply. They don't know how to make quality product, China. And so, I mean, some of their stuff is qual It's kind of quality, but, you know, as far as the electronic stuff, like the battery chargers and stuff, it's crap. It's all plastic crap. And uh, so, this made you made in USA. This charger, guys, made in USA. Try it. There's no springs or nothing. Nothing can break on this. Okay, made in USA <laughs> by me. <laughs> I'm not knocking China. I'm not knocking anybody. All right, guys. I'm just joking around here. But that's how you could tell. You know, if you're using a USB, it's going to be five volts instead of um, four point two volts, which means your battery will charge up probably twenty, thirty minutes faster instead of three hours. It'll take you uh, two hours and twenty minutes. Something like that. Something like that, guys. So you hook up your meter. This way you know what's in your battery. When you unplug the USB, you're good to go. Because you don't want to overheat your battery, you know? You know, monitor it. You know, realize it's going to take about two hours to charge. Check it every hour and see where you're at. So on, on this type of uh, flashlight, it's a 2000 lumen. The switches go bad, right? And they don't work properly anymore. And if you look on here, you have two holes there. And basically, you have to, uh, you can see there's a thread down there, right? Kind of see that down there? Basically, you have to tighten this. This piece inside. So see where those holes are there and there? You have to tighten it, okay? To get something in there where you can turn it and tighten it. Uh, like an ice pick, something where you could get in there and get a get a, a twist on there. And your flashlight will start working again. With this type, the switch, you're going to have problems. So I had to remove the rubber piece that made it waterproof. It's no longer going to be waterproof, but you'll be able to use it. I had to use the rubber, take the rubber piece out. And inside there was a plastic piece surrounding the switch. I had to bust that out. So now I'm able to use the flashlight. The charging port will go bad eventually. You won't be able to charge your battery no more. The plug went in there to charge it. Because it's crap, it's made in China, the plug, and it's going to fail. Just gets worn out, guys, you know. And uh, so this is my home remedy to charge this battery so I could use, continue using this flashlight and this flashlight. Without having to go and buy a cheap charger that's going to break anyway. This will never break. This will never break. Okay. So right now my indicator is on orange slash green, a little bit of green on the top. See that on the top, a little bit of green. So that means it's just about charged. And according to this, it's, it's just about charged. It'll be 4.4, uh, 4.3, and you'll be fully charged. So, uh, that wraps up this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun on building your battery chargers. Very easy. Two L brackets, two screws, one battery, some solder, solder iron, or you could use this and just put that on the, on the put that there and screw it down in there. Same on outside. Just leave a little bit of copper out so you can solder this wire 
to that piece of copper. You're good to go, guys. And thanks for watching.